Hi everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome to my Tomb Raider 2 playthrough of the level Ice Palace. I'm really excited to get straight into this and just take on the Guardian of the Talion. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so this is the one with the bells. Fun. And the eddies. And the spring pads, I hate these spring pads. They're like the worst thing ever. Uh -huh. The amount of times I used to die and break my neck on these stupid spring pads when I was a child. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how many times I, I break my neck on them now. Well, that was kind of fun. Great. Okay. And then I think we should go... I'm going to save it before we do this one. I know I've only just started, but... Spring pads, so... Ooh. Just about got that. Totally meant to do that. Going to release the eddies. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go down. Are they coming? They are. Can I shoot them from up here? I don't want to go down. I don't like it. I've gotten myself stuck now. <laughs> Why won't you aim at some of them? They're right there. Let's see if we can do this from up here because that would be really, really cool. I don't think I've ever shot them from up here before. Did I do it? I think I did. Awesome! So you can do that. Cool, I never knew that before. Like, really, really chuffed at myself right now. Because usually I am someone who just stupidly dives into <coughs> combat and conflict and just kind of shoots my way out of it. So that was kind of like slightly strategic really proud of myself now i know there's a i know there's a yeti here Ooh. they're so horrible looking they're so scary as well cool now i did actually try to look up why there are yetis randomly in a invisible ledge. I love invisible ledges. They're such a Tomb Raider thing. I love them. But yeah, I did try to look up why there are yetis in the catacombs under the monastery. And yeah, there are ladders there. I think they're mainly just a trick. Um, you can climb down, but there's nothing down there. So, yeah, sorry, that's the secret. So, yeah, I tried to look up and find out why the hell there are randomly yetis, mythical creatures, in the catacombs under the monk's monastery. And I really just couldn't find an explanation. I mean, basically, there are yetis here 
because there are yetis here. And that's that. So there we go. I was wondering if there will be some really cool connection to the dagger of Xi'an or anything like that, but no, there, there just is. Cool, and I know there's a, yeah, there's a bell there. I'm a lot better at these springboards. Well, I mean, I have played this game a lot of times. I've had a lot of practice. It would be pretty... Oh, I can just shimmy. It's easier, actually. It would be pretty bad if I wasn't kind of decent at those springboards by now. Okay. Now I'll just do this jumpy movie thing. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay. And I never really kind of copped this before, but I was reading, like I read up on all the levels because I like to know as much you know, about Tomb Raider and the levels and why everything is here and what everything means. I'm that kind of person. I was looking up, um, you know, the meaning of these levels and everything. And I thought it was really interesting that somebody basically said that this level could just be classed as a glorified boss level, which I can totally see that. And that's probably why the level is so short as well. And that kind of makes sense. So, yeah, interesting. A glorified boss level. Uh -huh. Never thought about it before. But anyway, I don't know. I think that's interesting anyway. Maybe that's just me. There's, oh. Oh, it was such a pretty white tiger. I don't like killing the white tigers. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. They're so endangered as well. I'm so sad. I don't want to kill the white tigers. So pretty. Ugh. Even though they are trying to eat me, but... I mean, I did run into their den, so... Can't really blame them. That's really made me sad. Uh-huh. I guess maybe I should feel sad about killing the Eddies as well because, well, I mean, they obviously are really endangered if they only exist in these catacombs and I've just completely wiped out their species, uh -huh. but I don't know. They're just not as cute as the tigers, so sorry. And the secret. Uh -huh. I'm just really running through this level because I remember it really well. Really proud of myself. There's, uh, I think there's more yetis. See, I can hear it. See, I just can't feel as sorry for them. Maybe I should though. Uh huh. It's mean of me. Okay. There's. A place where you can drop. Did that flip? Although, oh, there's no spikes over there. Oh, 
wasn't there? Maybe. I don't know. That Yeti's making weird noises and scaring me. I don't like this. I don't like the dark. Don't like it. Give me a flare. Is there spikes here? Yes. <laughs> okay, so don't drop down there. Um, where is that bit? Without the- oh, well there's the yeti. Without the- oh, it's in the middle there. I see it. I see it. Okay. <gasps> what a idiot! And I'm talking about me, not Lara. That was me. Uh -huh. I have no one to blame but myself. Is there any more big ups? Want to... oops. Is there anything up there? No. Just want to check all the corners. And I don't think that there's anything. Ooh. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Going to... why can't I run in a straight line? What's happening? Lara had a little Prosecco break on her adventure. <laughs> I think that opened something over here. Or no, maybe it was that door. Oh, of course it was that door. Never mind. A Prosecco break sounds really nice though. I want one. Okay, and for anyone who's never played this before, yes, we are running back through the area we were just in in the previous level. So this is kind of a cool, these two levels are kind of linked in a way. And also if you fall down off this bridge or off these ledges at any point, it is not a problem. There are these ledges and oh, a pickup. Oh, I didn't even see that pickup. Okay, let's test it. So if you fall, say you fall down off here. Ugh. You're supposed to be able to climb back up using these. Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, so um, these ledges were not here in the previous level. So you couldn't just climb up here and skip everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe they're trying to make us think that there was an avalanche um, or something and now there's snow there where you can climb up. So that's pretty cool. Wow, I'm so glad I looked at that because I completely did not know that that pickup was there. So cool. I don't know if you can re-enter, like if you can climb back through those double doors, end the level again, and then play through the whole level and get back up here. Probably not. Maybe I'll try it out at the end of this video. Maybe. No, I will. I'm gonna try it out at the end of this video. Okay, so I got really curious and I just wanted to see if you could actually like fall down here go to the end of the level and then start the level all over again. I highly suspect that that's probably impossible because it would be really silly if you could do that. But let's just see, I'm curious. Well, I mean, that was a very short adventure and <laughs> stupid me should have been able to see 
from the bridge that those doors were closed. Are the side doors closed? Yep, all closed. So I need to learn how to use my eyes. <laughs> okay, so we're back in this area. We need to break the ice. Not because it's tense, just because we need to swim. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> It's so cool. I love it. Okay, um, oh yeah, and I can, can slide, slide down here. Eee! What's happening? No, not more white tigers. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. I know there's some pickups that have kind of reappeared uh -huh. in here. I can't remember if there's any more white tigers though. Oh, yikes, that's dark. Tigers. I mean, I don't want to kill you, but I need to get my kill count. Hmm. I don't think so. Look at them, though. Look at his little. Oh, look at his little mouth. And <laughs> it's just. It's all dead. It's awful. It's so upsetting. Okay, so I think now fish appear. Where's the... I could have sworn that there was fish. There, there they are. Where were you guys? I just looked out there and you weren't there. So, ooh, get away from me. I think it's easier to kill them. Oh. Easier to kill them out here because then you don't have to worry about them biting you when you're trying to kill the yetis. And dodge the um, stalactites. Are the ones I think the ones that hang from the ceiling are stalactites, and then the ones that come up from the floor are stalagmites. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. What? Did that yeti just die? Sorry if that was- sorry, that was probably really loud. No way. I'm sorry, excuse me. Did that yeti just die? Did <laughs> well, I just died. So, did- did anyone else see that? I- I probably won't be able to rewatch until I'm editing, but I'm pretty sure I just saw a yeti randomly die and then disappear. That kind of happened. No, it did! Look! Oh no. That's gonna affect my kill count. What is going on? Let me try and load it again. Load. No, we can't have that. What happened? Okay. Where's the last place that I saved it? What's my last load? I'm gonna have to replay it because 
Pretty sure that's gonna affect my kill count. Okay, so I just played back to where I was and let's do this again and hope that that Yeti doesn't just randomly die for some reason. If he does it again, I'm just gonna count that as my kill. I have no idea what happened there. Oh. Okay, so there's three of them now. Let's, um... Oh! <gasps> this is not going well. What are you doing? <laughs> <gasps> I hate them. Okay, I think I'm actually just going to to run and try this. Uh, oh no, I need I need a medipack. Oh, uh, get away from me! Stop! Cut it out. No, don't go near the spikes. Oh, another medipack. Where? Oh, okay. I got them all. Okay. That was so funny with that Yeti just randomly dying. That has literally never happened to me before. So bizarre. Isn't there supposed to be another Yeti here? One, two, three, four. Oh, he already came out. Oh, I already got him. Nice. Okay. I was getting worried. I was like, why is this game continuously glitching on me? How I am for uh -huh. secrets. Where's the uh -huh. gold secret in this game? I mean in this level. <laughs> Not in this game. Did I already get the gold? Oh my god, I can't even remember. I don't know. Oh. Uh -huh. I know there's another one. Comes out of here. Get away from me. Ooh. Is this the avalanche? Oh, it is. Okay, I'm gonna save it. Okay, I guess just run for it. Ah, get away from me. Oh my god, there's so many balls. Okay. Yes. Victory. Okay, we're almost at the end now. I must have gotten the gold dragon. I'm trying to trying to remember and I'm trying to think that okay, yeah, should be like this. 
the gold, the gold. Oh, I got it at the very start. I did. I've already got it. It's fine. Okay. I was just freaking out there for a second. Like, I don't know. Having a stressful day. Not really. Okay. And as far as I remember, they are just like crazy chasms that try and kill you. I don't think there is anything to be gotten down there. So. Great. Now it's time to bang the big gong. I love the big gong. It's my favorite part. So fun. Okay, so yes, this is the ice palace. And I'm gonna go and get the secret before we grab the Italian. Because, well, if you know, you know why. It's just easier. <laughs> it's just easier to get it now. Okay. I don't think that there is any pickups. Anything? No. Then I'm pretty sure on the other side there's just spikes. So we don't want to go there. Or maybe there's not spikes. There is, I can see them. Okay, I'm not going there. No, climb back up. <coughs> cool, okay. Let's go get the secret. Whoever built this little hut room thing really, really liked that jade dragon. They were like, I'm going to build it a little room with a giant pedestal <laughs> and place it there. That's how much they liked it. In fairness, I get it. If I had a jade dragon like that, I'd be pretty happy, so. Uh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> So here's the Talion, the thing we've been searching for. It's very unimpressive looking, but anyway, there we go. And that's the Dagger of Xi'an symbol, also used as the Fiamanir cult symbol. So, well, we know we have the right thing. I'm gonna save it before I take this because as soon as I take this, the guardian of the Talion is gonna come out and start smashing stuff up and also i need to get all the pickups so i need to go into his cave which i really don't want to do he's gonna stomp on me but let's give it a go uh -huh. i feel like they put the pickups in the guardian's cave just as like a joke um i don't think they're actually they actually think anyone will be crazy enough to go in and get them but i am okay i want to like have a good view of him kind of smashing through so 
let's let's see if we can if we can do this now. There we go. Ooh, there he is. He's big. He's a big bird. Big bird eagle. I don't. I'm panicking. Ignore me. Okay, so this is a little safe spot here. He actually can't get you, or he doesn't like come towards you when you're in here. So now I'm gonna save it again. He's gonna squish me. He always squishes me. Okay, save. So I'm gonna run into his cave now and grab something. No, stop, go away. Go away. Go away. Okay, I'm gonna just do them one at a time because he is going to absolutely- Ah, pummel me. No, go away. Okay, so that's one. I've heard, I've heard legends that, oh no. I've heard legends that you can actually get the two pickups at the same time, but honestly, I don't believe it. That's just crazy. <laughs> if you've ever done it, let me know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scream all you want. Walk around the other way. Get away from me. He's, he's just gonna stand there screaming. For ever. Okay, so I'm trying to make him run around that pillar. I think. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Get away from me. It scares me so much. I don't like it. But I managed to get both of the pickups, so that's good. Okay, I'm back to safety. I'm gonna save it now. And now we can kill him. Oh yeah, um, for anyone who doesn't know, the reason why we can't kill him and then take them is because as soon as you kill him, the level ends. So you have to get them while he's still alive. Let's get him. He got me. Damn. Ooh, that's a really cool, like, shot of Lara. That's awesome. Stop punching me. Stop punching me. Okay, great. I actually did it. Um, I got 22 kills. So it was worth it to go back and kill that really weird glitchy yeti. I still have no idea what happened there, but that was actually really hilarious. Um, yeah, so I got 22 kills, three secrets, and I think I got all the pickups. I'm really glad that I caught that random box of flares that was on that ledge. Um, that was really, really cool. So yay, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I got everything there and I'm, I'm happy with that.
Okay, exciting now. So as I mentioned in some previous videos, Marco and a selection of his goons were camped out in a campsite in the Tibetan foothills. They were sitting there waiting for the mercenaries that they sent to Barkhang Monastery to return with the Talion. But of course, Lara got there first and took it for herself. She emerges from the ice palace right into where their camp is. Marco probably felt like quite an idiot to realize that his campsite was right beside an entrance to the ice palace that had the Talion in it. But maybe they weren't as close together as they seem to be in the cutscene. Lara then sneaks up behind a mercenary and steals one of the jeeps from the camp. The keys, of course, are conveniently located in the sun visor of the car. Lara then takes off in the jeep, heading for the Great Wall and the door to open the resting place of the Dagger of Xi'an. However, of course, the mercenaries notice and start to give chase. She shoots the wheel and the driver of the first jeep that's pursuing her and they crash and burst into flames. There's also a very large lorry pursuing Lara and that actually contains Marco. I know it's very confusing because he looks nothing like the way he looks in the more computer game graphic cutscenes than these more movie type cutscenes. But you'll notice that he looks exactly like the man that's on the opening menu screen of the game and that has been confirmed to be Marco. So this guy is him also. I never understood that before as a child or anything. I was like, who is that random guy? Because he looks nothing like he's looked in every other cutscene. Anyway, that's enough of my rants. Lara continues to speed away and then she does a really cool, awesome jump over a cliff edge and lands on the other side and manages to escape from him. She speeds all the way back to the Great Wall of China where we started the game, makes her way to the door and uses her talion to open it. And finally, we are at the Dagger of Xi'an's resting place. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm starting to get really, really excited now. We are so close to the end. I can't wait to film the final few levels of the game. And then I also can't wait to play The Golden Mask. And that is coming up. A couple of people have been asking me if I'm going to be playing those and I absolutely am. So stay tuned for them. As usual, if you liked this video, please do let me know and I'll see you in my next video.